Is there anything that Boris Johnson could do to save his job right now? No. Was there anything he could have done a few months ago? I doubt it. Uh, I think that the... The, 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 the characteristic of Johnson's premiership has been a, a disregard for the truth. And in the end, you get caught out. Uh, one incident after another, there is bound to be a moment when something snaps. And that's what's happened. It all started with Brexit, which was based on a pack of lies. I know you personally don't agree with that, but the public now do agree with that. No, they don't. And, uh, uh, as you know, I coined a phrase: "If Boris goes, Brexit goes." And really? Is so we're now... we're going to rejoin the EU if Boris Johnson goes? We will now seek a close. Well, we will. Uh, we, this opens the door to the beginning of a new European journey. Uh, it's uh, the, the, one of the curiosities of politics is that Keir Starmer, obviously reading the the, the, the the political situation, made this ridiculous speech about Europe the other day. And of course, then Boris is in deep trouble. If Boris goes, Keir Starmer is out on a limb uh, as the most anti-European. Uh, party uh, in the next election. Anyway, that's his problem. Okay. Not mine. I, I, do, you, do you genuinely believe? I mean, you've been a you know party grandee for a very long time, and uh, you know you and I certainly have, we've never made any any uh, any secret of our differences on the issue of Brexit. But you honestly think that anyone who is advocating going back into the EU or customs union or single market, anything like that, uh, with all that entails in terms of immigration and control from Brussels, you think that any any of those candidates who would run for leadership if Boris goes, if and when he goes would have a chance of winning with the Tory party membership? I'm not sure you've met many Tory party members lately. Well, uh, the public opinion polls are quite clear, but <laughs> it's, not, it's not party membership you should be talking about. It is the Scots Nats in Scotland. It is the Lib Dems in the South. They don't get to say on who the next Prime Minister is. <clears throat> No, I'm not going to say that, but I'm really telling you that Brexit is a disaster which is unfolding. And uh, you, if you throw in Northern Ireland, you, you realise that the SNP, oh, sorry, the, Scot the uh, uh, Sinn Féin has now become the largest party. And um, with the Scots Nats in Scotland, uh, the economy looking very sick for the next 12 to 18 months, yeah. uh, the, the Brexit saga is the underlying... It's, elephant in the room. <laughs> I, I, the small matter of turning off the world's economy and our economy for two years and, and, and printing money to pay people to sit at home. No, absolutely not an issue. No, but just but just Brexit. That that that's the key issue, even though we've carried on trade no, and things. No, no, Lord, no, Lord no, no, no. can I just put this to you? Look, it's the fact that see I've had massive issues with Boris. I mean, you know, very, very happy when he delivered Brexit. You know, I, I was. Um, I've had massive issues over his integrity. I'm, I'm furious about Partygate. I thought he should have resigned over that. Made no secret of that as well. The Chris Pincher affair, it just all carries on for me. But ever since last December, as far as I'm concerned, that's it. It's over for me uh, uh, and, and Boris Johnson. Um, but there are many people who'll say they'll put up with Boris Johnson, lack of integrity or not. And I don't think anyone seriously thinks he does tell the truth about pretty much anything. Because of people like you, because of um, you know, Ramonas, with all due respect, not Ramonas, Ramonas, people who would like to basically you know, undermine that, that democratic vote from 2016. And they think if it's not Boris Johnson, it's going to be someone who has the same views as Lord Heseltine uh, and they're going to you know, try and undermine Brexit. You're, you're one of the reasons why he's in office. <laughs> well, uh, that's a very interesting analysis um, and very flattering that anyone should think that my views are going to matter on this subject. Uh, but uh, um, you've just got to look at the by-elections, you see. You've just got to look at public opinion polls. Um, that's an important part of being a politician, to know what the public are saying. And the, and the awareness of the disaster of Brexit is revealed quite clearly in the number of people who now think it's a great mistake. And when you actually then have a by-election, uh, uh, and uh, in the south of England, the Lib Dems are eating into huge Tory majorities. You, uh, and uh, they are going to be a party campaigning on a European ticket. They, they won the by-elections on a European ticket. So there's no point trying to say it's me that's doing this. It's not. It is the... the, the well, 
I, I, I'm not going to define the, the views of either characteristic because of that would be pejorative. But the fact of the matter is that in the south of England, people now realise that Brexit is a, uh, the worst political mistake. I, 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 I can honestly tell you, I have not met a single Leave voter who has changed their mind one iota. In fact, every single thing that has happened every day since, with every action by the EU, whether it's on failures on Ukraine, uh, whether it's on uh, vaccines, rollouts and things like that, and, and, and the, the threats we've had from Macron and, and the EU, not a single moment, not a nanosecond, have any of the people I know who voted Leave, including myself, ever changed our minds on Brexit. I am more convinced that vote was the right thing to do than, than ever before. Well, uh, look, I, I'm not going to describe my opinion about your views. Oh, I'm no, do. I think, no, no, Michael, I'm, I think we all I'm want to hear chilling. it. Come on. I, well, <laughs> I, 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 I just find it incomprehensive. You see, I have worked for every Conservative Prime Minister since Churchill, and they are they're very different characters in many ways, but all of them believed that Britain was a world-class country with a huge contribution to the future that is evolving. Our economy is integrated with that of Europe and that we should be a leading player. Yeah. Well, wait, I think, I think we've proven that we have been. Let me bring you back to the leadership issue. Let's say Boris Johnson, as many expect, certainly I expect, you know, he clings, tries to cling on, but he's ousted in a, a, uh, a 1922 confidence vote uh, next week, as soon as next week. He goes, runners and riders, we've seen, um, you know, the, the health secretary, uh, Sajid Javid, was the first to resign, then the chancellor, Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak now, the bookies have made him uh, the favourite takeover. We've got Nadim Zahawi taking that job. We're told he denies this. He threatened to resign from education secretary job if he didn't get the top uh, role as chancellor. Um, do, 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 as someone yourself who's basically never became leader of the party, partly people say it's because you were the one who wielded the sword, attempted to uh, wield the sword against uh, uh, top Margaret Thatcher. Do you think it will be Rishi Sunak and Sajid Javid who will pay the penalty for doing that, as you did, and will never become party leader? Uh, I've no idea. I have no idea, and no view. No, we 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 don't know. We, how how people are going to vote is going to be very different. We can see those polls changing. Who would you prefer as the next Tory leader? Well, I'm not going to tell you. Why not? Very, because I have got strong views, as you very clearly indicated, and I'm not going to contaminate a potential leader by <laughs> supporting. Them. It's Jeremy Hunt, isn't it? Well, he's a possibility, but uh, mm. let us see what unfolds. But but uh, don't try and get me to undermine the position of any future candidate. Will any new leader do better than Boris Johnson and win the next general election? Not necessarily. Um, it, I think that if you look forward to where we are, the next election is a very, very difficult situation. The economy is in deep trouble. Inflation is going to get worse. Interest rates are going to rise. And um, uh, against that background, governments lose. And there is very, very little they can do about it.